Hello everyone, my name is Nexa and I'm a member of the G2 CSGO team and today I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to be a good in-game leader. The first thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to do the vent drop. This is one of the most commonly used strats on, on Nuke and it's actually pretty good, especially if you're um, playing in a pug or something. So what you do is basically you take the first two spawns here. The first guy runs, he has an HE. He's gonna break door. Do a right click smoke here to kill the enemy's molotov and just instantly rush it on vent. And while he's doing that, there is the second guy here. He just uses support utility, which can be basically a flash main or even a molotov main. And then the third guy who is also behind him can flash main as well. So basically they're putting pressure on A site while this guy is dropping down vent and getting into a really good position. So what this does basically is it forces the opponents to, to rotate heavily towards the down, um, towards the lower side on B and it messes around and uh, causes panic in the opposing defense. Um, so the next thing I'm going to show you guys is um, how to plant the bomb and defuse the bomb. I mean, I know some team said uh, struggle, struggles with this, I'm not going to name any names, but uh, yeah, so when you want to plant the bomb, you come at this like lower site and you plant a bomb right here. So it might not seem like a lot to you guys, but there are teams who actually don't realize the bomb is planted and they forget to defuse it and they lose the game like this. So this is something very, very helpful. So first you need to realize that the bomb has been planted and you can see here at the center of your screen, there is C4 and it's ticking red. So that means the bomb has actually been planted. You would think that this is obvious, but trust me, some people don't actually realize this. So what you have to do is you have to eliminate all the opponents and after you've done this, you have to defuse the bomb. Otherwise, you will not win the round. What are they doing? They're not finding the bomb. No, no one's no, defusing. No, no. Oh, there could please be absolutely God. no way. This can't no. be real. Oh. No, G2. Holy shit. See, you get the bomb, you defuse it, and that's it. You won the round. Okay, so now that I've uh, showed you guys how to drop vent and defuse the bomb, you're pretty much ready to, to play nuke. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to dust 2. So when you play dust 2, all you really need to know is how to rush B. So that's what I'm about to show you guys. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have the first spawn by two flashes and he's gonna run like this. He's gonna come here, hug this wall, do a first flash like this, second flash like this, and he's gonna run here and clear this. Then the second spawn, who should be like right around here, is gonna run right behind him. He's just gonna keep running, running, and if the opponent's from Molotov, he's just gonna extinguish it right here. And he's running as like the second guy in, as a trader, and just wherever there are enemies, he's just like facing there and just trading, and that's it. The third spawn, which is usually around here, let's say, he's running also with them. He's running into the tunnel. And you see when you come here, you can actually always spot this window. So basically you just aim at this window and you throw a flash and you just like keep running like this way. And just like helping your teammates trade better and effectively. Then the fourth guy, if it's your upper, he can just like stay here and just peek and try to kill someone and then come delayed B. Uh, but if it's the rifle, so the fourth guy is coming here, he's running into B tunnels. He does the exact same flash as the third guy, but after he's like ready to smoke door and Molotov window to to support his teammates who are entering the site. Yeah, so that's how you rush B-Boys. If you're considering becoming an in-game leader, some of the key points uh, that you should actually work very hard on are staying calm and composed during the match, never raging, always being supportive and having uh, creating a really good atmosphere around your team. So when your teammate says, says uh, rush B, you don't get tilted. You don't have to do it. You don't have to listen to Omanek. So yeah, those are some of the key points for me in order to become a good in game leader. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something from it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and tweet and uh, uh, favorite and uh, retweet and uh, yeah, I hope you stay tuned for more of these tips and tricks videos.